Today I am going to explain about how to create project and mapping in ODI 12C. For this you have to first log in in ODI and then click on the topology. Navigator. Under topology navigator first expand physical architecture. Here you will find two technology first is file type and another one is oracle type. First select file type and right click it and select new data server. It will open pop up form as shown below. Now fill all the information as required like name, host and connection information then click on JDBC tab and provide JDBC driver and JDBC URL then click on test connection. If successful then close the window else. Debug host, connection, JDBC driver and JDBC URL information in test. Connection once again and follow the same procedure as mentioned above till test. Connection is successful. Now right click previously created data server and select new physical schma. It will open pop up form now provide information like name, directory, schma, directory, work schma and click on save button as shown below. Previously I have shown how to create data server and physical schma for file. Now I am going to show you how to create data server and physical schma for Oracle. Right click Oracle and select new data server. It will open pop up form for data server and provide information like name, host, database connection information as shown below for all context you have in your organization. Then click on JDBC tab. Now come to the JDBC tab and provide all information like JDBC driver and JDBC URL and click on test connection button. If successful then close the pop-up form else debug to not test connection not successful as shown below. Now right click recently created data server and select new physical schma and provide all information in pop-up form like name, schma, work schma as shown below. After creating data server and physical schma click on the context tab and create context like testing, development, production etc. depend on your requirement by default global is the default context as shown below. After completion of context creation click on the logical architecture and then create logical schma for file as well as for oracle as shown below. Now come to the designer navigator. Here you will find Project and Model tab. First click on Model tab and create new model for file and provide all information like name, technology, logical schma and then save it as shown below. Now right click newly created file model and select new to test or. It will open pop up form and then provide all information like name, alias and resource name is shown below. Now click on file tab and provide all information as per your text file like file format, heading, field separator and then click on attribute tab and then click on reverse engineering button. It will bring all columns and its data types as shown below. Like this we have to do for Oracle and click reverse engineering button so that we get columns and data type for Oracle. After bringing all required metadata. Create project and then expand project. Here you will find first folder. Expand first folder. Here you will get. Mapping which work as an interface in previous release of OD. Now right click mapping and select new mapping and give name to mapping and click OK. It will open pop up window as shown below. Now click on the logical tab and here you have to drag and drop required table in which you want to do mapping. Mapping can done in two ways. One, manual mapping, just drag and drop matching columns. Two, automatic mapping, for this you will find one circle type option on both side. Of table which work as a connector and what you have to do just drag that. Connector and drop in the another table connector in which table you want. Mapping. It will open pop-up window as shown in the next slide. Click OK and mapping done and if any columns left you can do manual mapping for that. After clicking OK you will get second image as output. 
Now select target table and click on the properties of the target table and select target and here you will get integration type. By default control append is selected. Now click on physical tab and then everything done just you need to save and execute as shown below. To view the status of your output click on the operator navigator and expand all execution and it shows green color that means success and if red in color that means failure so debug what went wrong. And now to view the data right click target table and select view data. It will show output as shown below. For training, support and consulting inquires. Call us, India, plus 91. 997-799-7254 USA plus 1-772-228-6064 Mail training at bispsolutions.com www.bispsolutions.com training at bispsolutions.com